A judge is mulling whether he should overturn a $500,000 award given to a Dothan woman charged with stealing from her boss. A jury ordered her former boss to pay that money, but his attorneys believe that was a wrong decision and want a new trial. News 4's Ken Curtis has both sides of this story. I didn't get what we asked for. No, Gayla White did receive the $4 million she demanded. However, a jury in March did award her $500,000. And it's not easy every time I walk in. Gayla White has walked in and out of the Houston County Courthouse many times in what she describes as a nightmare. Actually, all of this really took um, five years ago today. First to defend criminal charges that she stole nearly $6,000 from her windmill station boss, Eddie Donaldson. One jury cleared her of those charges. Another gave her the 500 k because of the harm she suffered. It's a bizarre case that appears far from over. Donaldson's attorneys claim his defense suffered because his attorney, John White, had to defend him while White suffered serious health issues. They also told Judge Butch Benford it was police, not Eddie Donaldson, who charged Gayla White. Grand juries indicted her, and another judge refused to dismiss charges, believing evidence was sufficient to press on with trial. Uh, and that where to go from here, I don't know. Gayla White's attorney Steve McGowan told Benford the trial was fair. As he put it, you can't put toothpaste back in the tube. However, McGowan and Ms. White point out that an order for $500,000 and cold hard cash are two different things. I think people thought that it was automatic and um, that I had gotten money, but no, there's been nothing. No matter how Judge Benford rules on the new trial request, this case will almost certainly linger. And, and could take years. Until a final resolution, Gayla White, not related to John White, must keep coming to court without her half million dollars. In Dothan, Ken Curtis, your hometown news leader. Gayla White is a former Dothan Planning Commissioner who says her arrest cost her a $70,000 a year job. Eddie Donaldson's new attorneys did not comment for our report.